Memphis rapper Pooh Shiesty has just sent a message out from jail, speaking on the ops that are disrespecting him for snitching to be released early. To understand his message, we first need to learn on how Shiesty allegedly snitched. As Academics explains that Shiesty's current jail situation is not normal for someone that committed charges that he did. But still to Pooh Shiesty, who look like he's absolutely chilling in jail. My boy got a little Richard Milley, you know what I mean? Got, got the hair cut all right. You know what I mean? I heard got, they, be playing, uh, they be playing Fortnite Mobile. In jail? Oh, he got the Tim's on. They look fresh as well. Yo, this so chilling in, in prison. He got two watches. Like, you know what I mean? Like, damn, two watches. Not even one. As for the crimes that Pooh Shiesty originally committed, these are serious charges that would usually result in someone sitting in a very serious jail cell with nothing to do other than walk around in circles. As the original crime documents in his file starts with Shiesty and company setting up a meet for high-end sneakers, including narcotics. As Pooh Shiesty originally set up this meet as instead of wanting to pay for these goods, he wanted to steal them. As Pooh Shiesty is seen arriving to the meet, driving a bright green McLaren, Sitting and awaiting the seller's arrival, Shiesty and his boy create a plan to steal the items against these two men. So once the two sellers arrived, they handed Shiesty over the sneakers. Shiesty was doing a legit check on the pair of sneakers, giving his boy enough time to get into position for what is about to go down. While negotiating on the price for these goods, a small argument then started as this began getting heated until Pooh Shiesty was seen then grabbing a firearm from out of his waistband. Once he is seen reaching for his firearm, the two men are seen starting to sprint away, trying to duck behind their own vehicle for cover. However, they were not quick enough. Shiesty ended up hitting both of them, hitting one in the backside and one in the hip. While Pooh Shiesty was handling the two men, Shiesty's boy and partner in crime was in charge of grabbing the sneakers as well as the narcotics from out of the trunk of the seller's car. He is seen grabbing the goods and then starts sprinting to his side of the McLaren. Meanwhile, Pooh Shiesty is running around with these two trying to make sure that his job is done before sprinting to his side, which is the driver's side of the McLaren. With Pooh Shiesty opening his McLaren door, the vehicle had butterfly doors, meaning the car doors go upwards. With the car door going up, there was a Louis Vuitton bag in the side door pocket, which would end up resulting in it falling onto the cement in the parking lot. Pooh Shiesty was in a hurry as he already heard police sirens, as he didn't even realize he left this bag on the ground before driving away. This Louis Vuitton bag had $40,912 in cash, as well as playing a huge role in the evidence against Shiesty, but more on that later. Trying to get out of there as fast as possible, Pooh Shiesty would drive straight to the closest Miami airport, where he and his friend would rent a private jet and fly straight out of Miami, Florida. However, Pooh Shiesty would be arrested in the following days. The town of Bay Harbor Island says you're wanted with He's also charged with armed robbery, battery in their affidavit, saying the two left the state in a private jail. Once he was booked into jail, he was quickly bonded out for $30,000 by his label owner known as Gucci Mane. After being on bond for roughly two months, Ushaisi would be officially arrested for the charges and crimes that he committed. Mr. Williams, you were arrested for pursuant to an arrest warrant. It was issued June 3rd. It's charging you you have two attorneys here or is it th i'm sorry two attorneys in the state go ahead you want to announce again brad cohen and sam zegni for uh the defendant right. have you had a chance to review your yes judge we have Not too long later, only a few months after his court appearance, DJ Academics would tweet, Breaking, Ushiesty sentenced to 63 months inside of prison, he was facing 8 years. As the Memphis rapper would then be officially sentenced, as Academics would reveal recently that Shiesty's already almost near being released. And I think he's coming home like next year, maybe the year after? However, it looked like he's, you know, taking responsibility of whatever happened and doing his time, not crying clearly trying to let people know he's straight and i do think when he comes back out granted as long as it's not like too far from now 
If he comes back in a year, he's good. I still think even within two years, he's good. As the reasoning for him almost being released is his small prison sentence for the crime that he committed. 63 months for firearm charges and robbery seems very low, and it is for a reason. To understand this, you need to be aware that Shiesty created what is known as a proffer deal with the feds. A proffer deal is when the criminal proves additional detailed information to the feds relating to the offense for which immunity, or in Shiesty's case, Case, a lesser sentence is then granted. Shiesty used this proffer to have the charges of life in prison in exchange for only 63 months inside of prison. However, now we're seeing rappers call out Shiesty for working with the feds, giving them information on the case and those involved. A part of Shiesty's proffer deal was he had to outline the mistakes he made when committing this crime, proving that he'll never do it again. Now, the first mistake he made was committing an armed robbery right beside a police station. The video footage you see here is recorded from police station cameras across the street. Once the sound of firearms in the area were heard, several police cars arrived to the parking lot extremely fast. With law enforcement knowing the exact location of the armed robbery, it didn't take them long to just look through the recording tapes from across the street. Also, with the police arriving to the scene as fast as they did, they are the ones that picked up the Louis Vuitton bag. The Louis V bag had $40,912 in cash. Why it is so important? The feds actually had an idea of who committed this armed robbery due to the next step I'm about to share. However, on Pooh Shiesty's Instagram, he had several photos of him flexing $100 bills. The feds downloaded these photos, zoomed in on the serial number, and realized that the serial numbers on the IG pics actually matched the money inside of the Louis V bag, which then leads us into the biggest mistake of all time for a crime such as this. Pooh Shiesty posted a selfie with the all green McLaren he just committed an armed robbery in the exact same day he did it. Yes, Shiesty took a selfie with the sports car, and then while he was on the private jet flying out of Miami, he posted these photos to his Instagram for the entire world to see. Not only that, it wouldn't be even a year later than while he's in prison, Shiesty's team would release a music video titled Gone MIA, flexing the all green McLaren as well. With Shiesty mostly giving information on himself inside of his proffer deal, Rappers are continuing to call Shiesty a snitch, causing him to have a bad rep inside of the music game. However, we would see Big 30 vouch for him. Oh, my mama, if you see his paperwork, if you see his paperwork, my mama, I do whatever y'all tell me to do, because my eyebrows, mustache, hair, I throw my chains in the river and jump in and if Shiesty snitch. Uh, go home, take one to the. I ain't got no more. As this would then lead into Shiesty inside of jail, sending a message out for everyone to hear. Calling out the ops, which goes on and reads, King Shiesty tapping in from the middle of the penitentiary, aka a bad place. Where they say I can't go, jailing no telling, I still remain untouched, millions still in double digits, tell Google to fix my net worth, we can verify it right now. I'm locked up, I'm not messed up. I was 21 years old, up eight figures, Jay-Z can't even relate to my money. Tripled my my followers stop playing with my name before i buy one of you for sale you guys aren't anything i put on for this cg stuff every day twice on sundays i'm on the same stuff from tokyo to tennessee ain't gonna go fed because getting scared no one never played with me free or in jail i'm still the man of memphis still the king no matter what jungle slick almost the same man just a little more powerful you know what i'm talking about baby larry how are you gonna let a man in the feds outdo you you can't even be me at crawling backwards. You're gonna have to get your hand and stick game up before you could do some. Stop playing so much. For my fans and supporters and loved ones holding me down every day, keep on keeping it solid. I promise it does not go unnoticed. I see everything and got something special for all the word is law. The rest of you guys are done. Keep hating, false advertising, and counting me out. It's up and it's stuck like a treehouse. I got a Dorito on my shoulder. I'm going 100% on you. As shysty in jail, standing as tall as he can. However, he would also share a message during an interview before he was arrested. Really, when I got signed, but I'm gonna tell you before the part before I got signed, like breaking news. Mm. The verse on breaking news yeah. made everybody go crazy. And folks start saying I'm their favorite rapper already, so right. I'm gonna stop. Right. You know what I'm saying? It just made me go harder. So the success kind of gave you the confidence to really for keep sure. it up. Yeah, they rock with me for sure. Man, said my first verse. 